Welcome back to another exciting episode of What is My Wad? We have the Wednesday, October 21st edition here. So let's talk about the Samrat 15. This workout is 15 minutes long, but it's actually more like a ladder in that you're going to increase the repetitions after you complete each round. Let's go through the movements first themselves. Um, it begins with either three strict pull-ups. So if you have the ability to do pull-ups or assisted pull-ups, that's great. Three of those. Otherwise, you're going to do a nice heavy row. So row, typically you're going to bend down and with some heavy objects or with a barbell or dumbbells, you're going to literally row. So that bent over row, um, we're still getting a pulling motion, even though it's a different plane than the pull-ups, still working that scap and it's still working those pulling muscles. So that's a great substitution for that, for building some, some strong, uh, strong backs and some strong shoulders. Then we move on to three reverse burpees. Uh, if you guys remember these movements, it's literally instead of going down to your chest and thighs, you're going to go down to your back and your booty. So typically people will kind of squat and you roll back onto your back. And as you spring forward, um, fully, if you get your feet in the right position and tuck your feet back toward your butt, as you roll forward quickly, you can use your arms to help you. You're going to go into a squat and that momentum should help carry you up to standing. If not, you're going to touch your butt to the ground. You're going to touch your back to the ground. Your legs will be straight and you're going to go ahead and roll. And then you can use your hands to help yourself up too, but you're going to finish standing. So truly a reverse burpee. We finish off with three hollow rocks. Back and forth is one for that hollow position. We want to lock our knees out. Totes uh, are going to be pointed and they're going to stay off the ground. We're going to reach behind us. and We're going to rock back and forth with that hollow position. So normally everything, we want to keep that lumbar curve nice and tight. On a hollow rock, we want to be rounded, uh, much like if we were doing a, a pull-up type position. So abs are going to be flexed. Um, speaking of abs, if you do that skill tomorrow, you are going to have a absolutely blasted core. Fantastic ab workout. It's going to take a decent amount of time, so do that. After you finish with three rounds, you're going to do the exact same movements, but add three reps. So you're going to do six of each. If you finish that, you're going to do nine of each, 12 of each, 15 of each. 18 of each, et cetera, et cetera, going as high on the ladder as you can. So for scoring, let's just say I finish here. In the 12th round, I get through 12 pull-ups and 12 reverse burpees, so I end up here. My score would be, my last full round I completed was nine, and then I finished another 24 reps. So my score would actually be nine plus 24 total. Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you guys can let me know. Have a good Wednesday workout. And let's do this.